Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wacken Axes channel. Today we're going to be restoring an axe. The axe that I'm going to be restoring is a boy's axe, single bit, and I think it's a German axe. My grandpa got it at a auction and he was talking to another guy about it and the guy said he thought it was a German axe. I did some research on it and I couldn't really find anything about it i did find a few things and i think it is a german axe so if you know leave a comment down below i think this says h w gellers fc gritter i think and then it has warranted underneath of it so i looked up the h w gellers and i couldn't find anything i found a few things but I didn't know if it was the same brand or if it was just a different type of axe. So, the first thing I always do with these axes is I usually, if there's a wedge in there, I try to get the wedge out first, but if I can't, I take an old drill bit and I drill around the edges. Just kind of loosen it up a little bit so I can get the handle out. And sometimes they're pretty stubborn, so I don't think I'll show much of it. But I'll try to show some of it so you guys can at least see how I get the handle out. So what I use to get these handles out is I usually take a hammer. I have this old extender for a ratchet wrench. And it works pretty good. If the head's big enough, I use this end down because it spreads it out more and it's sometimes easier. But if the head's not that big, I usually use this end. It'll go down in there a little bit easier. Sometimes it gets stuck. But if it won't come out that way, then I have to get the drill out. And I drill holes around there and usually that works but I'm gonna try to get that wedge out first all right we had a casualty in the making with this axe it was a really good drill bit lasted a long time drilled out a lot of axe heads <laughs> in all seriousness in all seriousness, though, got the first wedge out. I think I might have kind of drilled a little bit out of it, but that's what those old drill butts are for. But it's almost out. You can see the line where it was at was like, I think it was right here. And a few more hits, this thing should come out. So, let's do that. It's almost there. Home run. It's out. There it is. There's what the inside of it looked like. And I, that's probably from me with the drill bit. But this axe head was not used much because this is in pristine condition compared to what most of them are. Usually I get them and they're kind of roughed up around this. People put handles in them before. Some of that was me, but I'm going to take a file in there anyways. But, and I'm pretty sure that's the factory edge. Nobody has sharpened this. It doesn't look like. 
unless they just took a real fine file to it, which is all I'm going to do. But this axe head is in pristine condition compared to what most of them are when I received them. Now is the most time-consuming part. I have to, and I use a draw knife for this. It is right here. This one uh, broke in half. It got stuck. And it broke in half, which I kind of works a little bit easier now. So it worked out. But like I said, now the time consuming part. This usually takes a while, depending on the axe head. I don't think this one will take very long. Just because the head is so, such good condition. But, I gotta fit the head in. It looks like it's a little bit tight right now. Need to take some off the middle. Front and back looks good. Move you guys back just a little bit. So you guys can see. Alright. So I just take this. I usually go over the whole thing first, just take a little bit off of it everywhere. Unless I know the head is going to need the most material it can get in it. But I just like to take a little bit of material off. Of everywhere, and it usually smooths this down a little bit. Easier for the head to go on. And then I'll go over and I'll really fine tune it. You're using one of these, and especially if it's sharp, you gotta be careful because if you get too much of an angle, it'll grab a lot of material. So I usually like to stay about right there. Or right here. Works best for me. Alright, I'm gonna get you guys on a different angle so you can see a little bit better. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, you can see. So, just to double check, when I originally put it on here, yeah, it's a little bit wide right here. So I'm gonna take some out of the middle. I think my neighbor's getting ready to mow. That might be an issue. When it comes to this, take your time. Keep double checking. Sometimes. Just a little file on the end helps too. Alright, 
guys. It's almost there. I think I'm going to go try to get down to about here. Maybe. Right in there somewhere. But. It is almost there. Usually they don't fit all the way at the top, which is okay, but it's pretty straight with the ax handle, which is good. It's going on straight. So, I'm gonna work. All right, so the wedge is ready to go in. I do have to work it down just a little bit. I make the front smaller and the back so it goes in easier and I make it a lot thinner. This is what a regular wedge is. This is a double bit wedge, but that's how thick they usually come compared to this one. So all it does makes it go in easier. All right. Let's see. Is this gonna go in? Nope. So I gotta get something to get this open a little bit. Alright. I'll be right back. I'm gonna try and get that open just a little bit. Alright, so I got the wedge in. It was being kind of a pain, so I didn't really film it. But really all you have to do is get that open a little bit just so the bottom of the wedge will go in there. And then I just take some wood glue, rub it on there with my finger and just get it to go down as far as you can. But like I said, I took this down a lot before I did anything with the wedge because I wanted it to go down there as far as I could get it and I don't think I'm gonna put a metal wedge in there I might put a small one but we'll see all right I'm gonna try to get this the best I can but I'm gonna go ahead and burn the handle and what I like to do is burn it, get all the sap out of it, or some of it, because if if a lot of the sap doesn't come out, my the oil that I use doesn't, the handle looks blotchy, and my opinion, it doesn't look that good. So, what I usually do is burn it and then sand it back down. It makes it look way better. Move you guys over here real quick.
All right, so I'm going to let this cool off. And once it cools off, I'll come out here and sand it back down. And then I'll reburn it and I'll show you the finished product. All right, so now the handle is ready for oil. And I just like to use, it's called uh, Watco, W-A-T-C-O, Danish oil. And I just put it in this little squirt bottle. I get the rag wet, get let it soak in a little bit. and use plenty of oil and be generous with it. I like to put the oil on right after I burn it when it's still hot. And then just a, right in here, I'll take my rag and just kind of hold it underneath and just drip some down each side. So, there is the finished product. Turn it here a little bit. Oh, sorry. And here is the finished product. Just a little update. Got some more firewood to split up. And actually, we got some ash. So, there's some ash down low. And I think... I wasn't here when my dad went and got this, but I think this whole rank on the left is ash, if I'm right. He might have threw some hackberry on top. And there is the kindling box on the side of the stand. We got some hinges on it now. All right, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching, and if you know if this axe is a German axe, it's a, um, I think it's an H.W. Gellers, or Geller. So, if you have heard of that brand, and you know if it's a German brand or not, let me know. I would really appreciate it, and please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.